Now that went a little bit over, but I mean, but you, I'm not you, you stop can't it. put a price on something like that. Absolutely yeah. not. Absolutely not. We do have a Women's After Dark poll. Uh, if you remember, we were voting on the on the heartthrobs, Lord Byron, and uh, Magnum PI, and. Bob gave us a nice little diplomatic answer, didn't he, there, where he said it was kind of in, in the middle. Byron uh, seems to address certain things that, that Bob catch, latches on to, but the ladies do love Magnum. Uh, we now have the results. Well, as it turns these, out, neither, entities. neither so? Tom Selleck of, of Magnum or Lord Brian won the poll because, uh, it's, as it turns out, uh, the poll has been particularly suspicious this week. So, because of writing candidates, neither of the two proper candidates won. What? Uh, apparently, a lot of people, like me, were confused and thought Frank said bionic. So, there was a strong vote in for Lee Majors in the poll. Uh, Lee, I think we even got a couple of Lindsay Wagners, too. And let me say this. I always thought her acting was good on that show. Well, if she's watching. Uh, I don't know. What would you say? I don't think people are taking the poll seriously. No, I, 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 there have been a lot of write-ins. Wally Sean. Wallace Shaw got throb. a strong writing candidate. He got more than Byron did. Inconceivable! Yeah, actually, it's funny you say that, too, because I have this other picture of him here with Indigo Montoya. That's almost silly. I am Indigo Montoya. You killed my father. And Andre. To die. I mean, these, these are heartthrobs, and people are voting for... Um, people, look at this one. I don't even know who this guy is. Some, who is it, some fashion dude now? Carl Lagerfeld. Carl Lagerfeld. People voting him a in. heartthrob. Wallace he looks Shaw. Like, he looks Carl like a Lagerfeld. mummy, for crying people, out loud. We love our viewers. It's like I'm in Hotep. My nose grew on that one a little bit. No, of course, we love our viewers, but take this poll seriously. I mean, I know. And, so and, and, and as it turns out, I don't know how many of our viewers out there, all, all six or seven of them, including Bob Dylan, watch the BBC comedy The Office, but apparently some of them do because the write-in winner was Finchy from The Office, Chris Finch. Finch. University education didn't help you out, did you? Screw blockbusters. Uh, I, th I think Chris Finch probably did most of the writing in himself, I have yeah, to admit. Yeah, although uh, you got to admit, the man is dynamic, isn't he? Uh, Finch, winner of the Women's After Dark poll. Madness. All okay, right, we should wrap uh, up, I'm about it? to wrap this up with a very quick book of the week. It's been getting a lot of publicity, a recent memoir that's been written, Julian Lennon by Mark Bego, um, author of Michael and Madonna, both with exclamation points. Julian. Book of the week. It says on the back, here comes the sun. Get that's it? The what a pun. And it's a Harrison song. We'd like to thank everybody for their Bob help Dylan. today. We'd like to thank Jessica and Kim and Nicole and Zach. We'd like to thank Bob Dylan for coming via satellite. And I'd like to thank Joe for coming and talking about Timaeus the movie. Madness. God is good. Yes. So uh, th join us next time on Women's After Dark when we'll have a show that is literally out of this world. Or that might be in a little bit in the future. Julian Lennon, check it out. Thank you very much for your time. And I will talk to you again next week. All glory is fleeting. Absolutely.